Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. A little over 24 hours until this Michigan program kicks off the 2024 college football season week one against Fresno State. And for us Michigan fans, there's still no word on who's going to be the starting quarterback for this Michigan program heading into 2024. Largely sounds like it's down to quarterback Alex Orgy and quarterback Davis Warren. It's been a wild ride for us Michigan fans where you know, I think you go four months ago coming out of spring camp and said a lot of us had Alex Orgy kind of penciled in as that starting quarterback. Then you go back about a month ago heading into fall camp and there was a lot of buzz around Jack Tuttle, the veteran. And now the last two to three weeks, there seems to be a lot of steam, a lot of buzz around the former walk-on quarterback, Davis Warren. And we haven't talked a ton about Davis Warren, right? We've talked a lot of Alex Orgy, a lot of Alex Orgy. We've talked a lot about Jack Tuttle. But Davis Warren has been kind of just flying under the radar. Want to take a deep dive into Davis Warren, talk about a little bit about the background of Davis Warren. But I think more importantly, you know, what he can bring to this Michigan offense as the starting quarterback where, uh, look, the diehard fans, the Michigan fans who watch every single snap of the spring game, follow the offseason fall camp intel. We all know Davis Warren can be a quarterback Michigan can win with at a very high level. We just haven't seen it Saturdays in the fall. So I think largely the national media doesn't really know much about Davis Warren. Want to get into what I think Davis Warren can bring to this Michigan offense. Now, before we get into it, as always, number one, let it up in the comments section. We've talked a lot of Michigan football, specifically around the starting quarterback. It's been a blast talking ball with you guys. So you got a lot of Michigan fans who want Alex Orge. You got a lot of Michigan fans who want Davis Warren. You even have some Michigan fans that wanted Jack Tuttle or Jaden Denigle. It's been kind of the beauty of talking about this, where I think all the Michigan fans, you know, we all agree. We want the quarterback that's going to give us the best chance to win at the highest level on Saturdays, but we all think that might look a little bit different. So we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section. Of course, if y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. The amount of support has been amazing. Without further ado, let's get into Davis Warren. I want to start with the label of Davis Warren as a walk-on which is technically true, but I don't necessarily think that's an accurate description of Davis Warren's talent level because you go back to the high school days, was diagnosed with leukemia in March of 2019, spent five months getting chemotherapy treatment, and then kind of missed kind of most of that football season at the high school level. Then COVID happens where Davis Warren was a really talented quarterback, but kind of stuff outside of his control kind of led him to becoming a walk-on for this Michigan program. I think there's a different reality where, you know, Davis Warren is a scholarship quarterback, a true freshman that's ranked by 24-7 sports, but there just was no information in film on Davis Warren. And so to label him a walk-on, I think, does a little bit of disservice in terms of how talented I think Davis Warren is as a quarterback. But I think more importantly, since you've seen Davis Warren within this Michigan program, he's always impressed when he's taking the field in the spring games. You take a look back at the 2014 spring game where a lot of the eyeballs were around Alex Orge, Davis Warren flying under the radar, goes six of nine for a buck 36 and two touchdowns. Shows tremendous command of this Michigan offense. You go back to 2023, eight of 13 for 163 yards. You go back to 2022, had a very impressive spring game as well. And so Davis Warren has shown to the Michigan fans that, you know, read the spring, spring camp and fall camp intel, who watched the spring games, there's a lot of quiet confidence within a lot of Michigan fans about Davis Warren being a quarterback that Michigan can win with. Now you get a little bit into the pros and cons. I think the big pros around Davis Warren is one more command of the offense. He's been around this Michigan offense, been around the Michigan program, just has been at the college football level longer than quarterback Alex Orgy. But I think most importantly, you know, it's the, it's the consistency and the accuracy that he brings. Like the big bugaboo around Alex Orgy is, yes, he's a freak show athlete. He's going to provide tremendous value to this Michigan ground game. That being said, you even go to the spring game or you go back to Alex Orgy coming out of high school and say, you know, there's been significant question marks about the consistency and accuracy that Alex Orgy has. And you look back at the track record of who Michigan goes with as their starting quarterbacks is the quarterbacks that can make the throws and not turn the football over. So I think history shows that You know, Michigan has historically gone with quarterbacks like Davis Warren over potentially the more talented quarterback because of the consistency and command of the offense. So I think those are the things that Davis Warren kind of has 
going with him in this quarterback battle. I think the second question is, and then we're going to get into a little bit of the film of what we've seen from Davis Warren is, is what does this offense look like with Davis Warren as quarterback? And I would say this, I think it's going to be a blend between what we've seen from JJ McCarthy the last two years and what we saw with Cade McNair in 2021. And what I mean by that is Davis Warren is probably not as talented as JJ McCarthy. There are throws that JJ McCarthy and plays that JJ McCarthy was asked to make that Davis Warren probably can't make. That being said, I think he's a little bit more talented than Cade McNamara. So I think there are throws and plays that Michigan can ask Davis Warren that they just weren't able to ask Cade McNamara. So I do think you see a very similar offense to what we've seen from Michigan over the last couple of years with a quarterback that I think might be a blend between JJ and Cade McNamara in terms of talent level and in terms of what he can do with his arm talent and athletically. I think if Alex Orgy was the quarterback, you'd see a much more diverse rushing attack, probably a little bit less of the passing game. Now, I think one of the things that makes Michigan fans feel pretty good about Davis Warren potentially being the quarterback one is, hey, if you're going to go with Davis Warren, you probably feel pretty good about your playmakers down the field, right? There's been a lot of buzz, not only around Colson Loveland, who again is the best tight end in the country. There's been a lot of buzz around Marlon Klein as the tight end too, as a difference maker in the passing attack. And there's a lot of buzz around guys like Tyler Morris and Samaj Morgan and Freddie, Freddie Moore. And so if Michigan does go with Davis Warren, there might be a little bit more reliance on some of the young playmakers that are around Davis Warren. Now, you make no mistake about it, Michigan is still going to lean on the run game, but they're going to be a little bit more you know, aggressive attacking the perimeter with a guy like Davis Warren because they trust him to throw the football a little bit more than Alex Orgy. Now, getting into some of the film of Davis Warren, I think first is like the command. Davis Warren, whenever you watch him play during the spring game, the ball's coming out quick. It's coming out on time. It's coming out accurately. And that's probably the one thing that separates Davis Warren from Alex Orgy, where again, Alex Orgy, tremendous athlete, would provide a ton of value to Michigan's rushing attack. With, whether Alex Orgy's starting at quarterback or not, we're going to see Alex Orgy on the football field. But when you fire up the film on Davis Warren, this is a play that you know I really like because one, he's hot. I'm not really sure what Tristan Bounds is doing right here. I think this was a miscommunication. He knows he's hot. He knows Jimmy Rolder's coming unblocked. He's going to step up, kind of fade away from the pocket here. We're going to full screen this here and just deliver an absolute dive into a really tight window off his back foot. I think the arm talent around Davis Warren is just not talked enough about. Yes, Alex Orgy can throw the ball harder, can probably throw the ball longer, but Davis Warren has a very good arm and more importantly, he's accurate. I mean, he's going to put the football and kind of right on his wide receivers, allow them to operate after the catch which is something that's really important to this Michigan offense. You continue to work through the film. And another thing that I really like, again, once again, the command, Alex or Davis Warren, I think is a little bit more gifted in terms of being creative than a lot of people give him credit for. J.J. McCarthy was obviously excellent at this. You take a look at this play right here. One going through his progressions, not much is there. He's going to drift out of the pocket, keep his eyes down the field, and he's going to attack Freddie Moore and an edge rusher who's dropped into the flat. He's going to let Freddie Moore find some green. He's going to throw him into space and then go let Freddie Moore do the rest. Freddie Moore is a guy that we are all really excited about in terms of what he can do after the catch, putting it on display in the spring game. And so you look at Davis Warren and say he does bring some of that dynamic playmaking ability that a lot of people want to talk about with Alex Orgy because he certainly brings it. But I think Davis Warren brings it more than a lot of people give him credit for. And then you talk about Davis Warren pushing the ball down the field again. Can Alex Orgy, kind of like Joe Milton, and I'm not comparing Alex Orgy to Joe Milton, but kind of similar in terms of how we talk about the two. Can Alex Orgy throw the football really far? Yeah, absolutely. Davis Warren can too. And Davis Warren is very accurate pushing the ball down the field here as well. One, again, you see the command of the offense here. And he's kind of knowing coming out of play action here. He sees his wide receiver. You freeze frame this. They're even. That means he's beaten. Davis Warren knows exactly where he's going. Hits, I believe, Kenny Bell in stride, extremely accurate, pushing the ball 40, 50 yards down the field. Those are some really impressive throws. So I think one of the narratives around Davis Warren that maybe a lot of Michigan fans might not understand is that one, Davis Warren is a lot more talented than a lot of people give him credit for. Don't let the lack of the recruiting ranking fool you. This kid went through a ton as a kid in high school, right? Obviously getting diagnosed with leukemia, going through COVID. There just wasn't a lot of film and information on Davis Warren. And we know by now that, you know, these programs, they recruit quarterbacks that they have information on. And Davis Warren was largely an unknown commodity. 
credit Steve Kasula for getting Davis Warren to Michigan as a walk on Davis Warren might be starting for Michigan in 2024, the defending national champions. I think that's a phenomenal story, right? Davis Warren went from kid that got diagnosed with leukemia out of high school to walking on to Michigan to potentially being a starting quarterback for the defending national champs with Michigan. I love kind of the pedigree that you get there. And I think secondly, I think Davis Warren can bring a lot more juice than a lot of people give him credit for. I know a lot of Michigan fans, as am I, are really excited to see who comes out as the starting quarterback. Are we going to see a two-quarterback system? Are we going to see one guy will get one half, one guy get the other? I think at the end of the day, we want the best quarterback starting for that week two game against Texas. I don't necessarily care who it is. I kind of trust Jerome Moore and Kurt Campbell to get it right, but wanted to give a little love and respect to Davis Warren, a, a guy that I think Michigan can win with. In 2024. We'll close it out there again. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. And we'll talk to y'all later.